All right, collective, here we go. Soulmate Energies update here on Lionsgate Week. All Steve's love tarot. It's awesome. It's midweek. Energy's getting stronger and heavier. It's a little lighter today, but it's flowing like a, a raging river. I mean, it's unreal. This is a Soulmate Energies update for everyone. All signs flying over the top of the Soulmate cycle, current Soulmate cycle. It's for everyone. If you're a human being and you found this, you were meant to find it. It's a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you, but I doubt it. If you came here and you found Steve's Love Tarot, there's probably a reason for it. Something. Could, could just be one thing I say that's important that helps you out a little bit. Uh, it's a timeless reading, so whenever you find it, you're meant to find it. But this, this reading here is specifically timeless or not about the lion's gate energy which is building as we get closer and closer to the eighth which is lion's gate it's pretty powerful shit and i'm gonna tell you what whether you're a human being a chipmunk or a raccoon welcome raccoons and chipmunks you're supposed to be here we got uh uh the phrase i've got here in my pre-shuffle when i said what's going on because the energy is crazy today raging river I got the Eight of Pentacles in my pre-shuffle, and I said, what's going on? And I get, I get this feeling it's, you know, I don't have any guides or angels. Ain't nobody talking to me in my head. I've got deep empathy, so I feel the energy. And I translate it into words to you guys, and the cards are pretty pictures for you to look at. And the only thing I could feel off of this is someone trying to beat the heat. It's that feeling you get when you try to beat the heat like it's a really hot day right and it, you just find you, know, you see this beautiful oak tree and you go sit underneath it and you got yourself a cold drink which is getting warmer by the minute with the condensation coming off the outside of it someone's trying to beat the heat of the energy right now because it's so powerful and they're feeling this connection that you've got this twin flame deep soul connection for all of you that's what it is uh, they're trying to beat the heat by focusing on some sort of practical concern work Pentacles of some kind. It could be a family thing, family dynamic, family issue. I get the image in my mind for some reason of a family picnic. I also get the image in my mind of somebody doing a play or some kind of production. I also get the image in my mind of just somebody working at the office and focusing on work and trying not to look at your social media while they're there with their computer in front of them. I don't know. Uh, but I also get <laughs> underneath that is that I felt this underneath that is the ten of swords. I also get it's not working. Okay, just like under that oak tree on the hot day. Yeah, it's shady, but it's still fucking hot. Ninety nine in the shade, as Bon Jovi once sang. Ah, uh, it's off their New Jersey release, by the way. All right, here we go. I think that song might be fitting. Ninety nine in the shade by Bon Jovi. You might want to check those lyrics. You might want to Google the lyrics, the 99 in the shade. There's some reason I brought that up. Oh, yeah. All right, well, let's shuffle the deck here for the people, the chipmunks and the raccoons watching me here. And let's see what's going on with this person who's trying to beat the heat. And it ain't working. <laughs> it ain't working. Uh, God, I love it. Oh, this soulmate, this soulmate cycle is unreal. Shuffle in the deck for all signs. Mid Lionsgate week. Soulmate energies. Okay, before the cut, and this card here uh, was underneath that Ten of Swords, by the way. It's the, it's the Wheel of Fortune. It's, a, it's not working. Beating the heat ain't working. It's destiny at play here. You can't beat this. This is major arcana. You can't beat it. They, they can't. They can't put you out of their mind. They can't distract themselves with whatever. If they are doing a play or doing some kind of production or doing some kind of family picnic, you're all they're thinking about. You're all they're thinking about. Probably if, if they are in a play, for some reason I get that for somebody, they're messing up the damn line so bad they're looking like shit. Because all they can think about is you. And here's the proof after the cut, the high priestess. They're keeping it to themselves. But look at all this energy coming out in and out of this person right here. You see all that energy? That's how the energy's flowing right now. I told you it's a raging river. It's a raging river. It was heavy yesterday, and today it like we got to a point in the river where it just opened up. And it's that point where you don't want to be in a canoe. 
You know what I'm saying? You, you, uh, a kayak is better. A canoe might be bad. <laughs> All right. Let's shuffle the deck. Get a final shuffle here. Get our overall energy, and let's pull a reading. I'm laughing at your person. That's why I'm laughing. They can't hide from this. They can't hide from it. The cards are emphatic, and the energy is emphatic. They can't hide from it. What's this person thinking and feeling right now? What's going on? What's in the uh, soulmate energy here? Give it to me, universe. Let's do it. Let's do this. We're ready to roll. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Overall energy is the moon. Yeah. And whenever I'm drawn to this girl who got thrown in the water out of the back of a Cadillac here, some bad guys threw her in the water. Yeah. Thinking they're getting rid of the body. She's still alive. You got little bubbles coming out of her mouth. They can't take it anymore. And I always pull one card underneath. I know what it is. I can kind of see the corner of it. I can kind of see the corner of it. It has something to do with your golden retriever that they want to pet. Yeah, they're keeping it quiet. Silent Bob. Fears. Secrets. Illusions. Delusions. All over this soulmate connection that they're not getting rid of. The Six of Pentacles. All they can do is think about you. Think about petting your golden retriever. Yeah, you know what I mean. You know what I'm talking about. You could dye it that color if you want. I don't care. That's all they're thinking about. I promise you. It's here in the energy. Right here. Energy around the connection. Right here's how your person feels. Right here's how they feel about you. Not what they show you. Not what they tell you. That's bullshit. Hidden energy is right here. What the universe wants you to know through me. And I'll tell you. I'll tell you everything I got. And right here's the final outcome. I'm going to clarify everything, throw some, uni uh, throw some universe cards over the top, and you'll bet your sweet chipmunk, raccoon, and human being asses that there's going to be a link for a extended in the description, and it's going to be epic. And I say that a lot, and my standards are epic. Ask anybody. I do some voodoo in there. Um, I got a person who is trying to beat the heat, trying to suppress something that can't be suppressed. Something that is ruled by the universe. It's a powerful connection built on destiny. And this person keeps turning away from destiny. And every time they do, they get punched in the face harder and harder by a bigger person. Okay? They're up right now at this point to getting punched in the face by the Hulk himself. And that's a, that's a freaking punch. Let me tell you what. What's the energy around the connection? <laughs> I, just, I just keep getting drawn to the golden retriever. I swear to God. This person cannot get you out of their head. And I'm smiling for you because I like that. You are burned in their brain and in their soul. Right here, the energy around the connection. What is it? Let's pull it together. Yeah, Ten of Wands. It's, it, what did I just get done fucking saying? By the way, if you're new here, I read energy, not cards. Cards are pretty pictures to back me up. If I ever get egg on my face, I'll do it on camera. You won't see any edits here. All right? The only time there's an edit is when there's a glitch and I have to fix a video, which lately has been... You know, a couple of times. But ten of wands. Ten wands. Again, the message around the whole August in general, but especially as we build and build and build energy as we get closer to Lionsgate, is just, I can't take it anymore. They're fooling themselves. You are heavy on their mind. It just backed, this one car just backed up everything I said. This is the energy around the connection right now. It's flowing like a raging river. They can't take it anymore. This little girl here on this card can't hold her breath much longer. Once the bubbles start coming out, it's time to go to the surface. It's time to go to the surface. It's time. Uh, it's For a lot of you, it's coming. They can't take it anymore. Probably because you're pretty awesome. Right here, how they feel in their emotions. Well, look who came back. Again, heavy energy. Heavy, heavy, thick energy around here. They can't take it anymore. These two cards together. Look, look how heavy you are on their mind. You can see it. Look at what's coming out of the, in and out of the top of her head. It, it, and they're keeping it quiet. Yeah, this whole reading is clarifying Silent Bob or Silent Jane, but Silent Bob from the movie Clerks. He ain't got no lines. He's called Silent Bob. This person is fixing to get some lines. Silent Bob's agent made a call to the studio and said, hey, my client needs some lines because without lines, you don't get paid much. <laughs> you get paid for lines. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Heavy on their mind. The universe wants to hammer this home. 
There's a reason the universe wants to hammer it home. I'll tell you that in advance. Okay. I read energy, not car. I don't need the fucking cards. I know where this is going. How do they feel about you? Not what they show you, not what they tell you. Fuck that shit. That's a, that's a lie. This person, lie, the silent Bob over here and the high priestess keeping cards close to the vest ain't going to tell you shit. They're not going to call you up and say, you're heavy on my mind. I can't stop thinking about you. No, their ego won't let them do that. This is a very ego-based person. This is the soul trying to break through in their emotions. Oh, it's trying. Good luck stopping a raging river. I can't do that. I don't know if you can. I doubt your person can. How do they feel about you? Yeah, they want to reach out. <laughs> I knew this was coming. It's a page. It, it's everything I just told you. Again, I read the energy first. Fuck it. It's everything I just told you. They're not going to tell you everything. It's a page. Page of cups. And you probably think when pigs fly, I'm going to hear from this person, Steve. Yeah, no. I, w I wouldn't lie to you. I'm not sugarcoating anything here. Uh, page of cups. How they feel about you is they have love for you. They're not going to share, share the full story. This is a real burden. Holding back is a real burden for this person. The Ten of Wands is a struggle. This person right here wants to reach out. They want to talk to you, and, but they're not going to tell you everything. This is a person who hides, very ego-based. It's like I told you, their ego won't let them tell you, uh, you're heavy on my mind, you're all I think about, I spank to you, you know, that kind of thing. They're not going to admit to any of that. You know, it's, it's just a fact. But they do want to reach out. They owe you an apology. They know that. They're scared shitless about that. That's in the energy. Hidden hidden uh, energy. They're worried how you're going to reply. They're worried how you're going to respond. But they can't take it anymore. This hidden energy, what the universe wants you to know, is red with Mr. or Mrs. I can't take it anymore. Ten of Wands is the end of burdens. They, they, they need this to end. This is the end of it. This, this, these two book endings right here, the burdens end when they reach out. They know it. And there it is. Ha! The fool. The universe wants you to know that they're coming. They are going to take this look. I go from the page of cups to the fool. To, and it's everything I just told you. Everything I just said. They can't take it anymore. The ten. The ten of wands. The burdens end when they reach out. And what do I pull as the next card? The fool. Somebody taking a leap of faith. This is These two cards together are all, fuck it, I can't take it anymore. I'm just going to reach out. I don't even care how they respond. I don't even care. I can't, I can't take it anymore. And this is just Wednesday. This is just Wednesday, August 4th. The energy on, the, on August 5th is going to be a notch, a gear. Think of it as gears on a car. We got ourselves an 8-speed. I said 7-speed earlier. I mean 8-speed. Fuck it. We got an 8-speed manual transmission. We're just in 4th gear right now. Wait till we get to 5th gear tomorrow. 6th gear on, what is that, Friday? Wait till we get eighth gear in this thing on Sunday. And then we start downshifting after the eighth as we move down to around the 22nd, around the full moon in August. But I'll tell you what, it don't matter. The damage will have been done. I'm not saying they're all going to reach out to you on the eighth. But the eighth is, you know, the final, the final blast. The blast that brings down the building. Mm-hmm can't take it anymore just gonna take a leap of faith what's the final outcome red with this high priestess oh i'm gonna keep quiet you're heavy on my mind oh my god my intuition is kicking me in the ass to reach out to the collective all those raccoons and squirrels and there's a page of communication again look at that fuck me look at this page again we got pages and fools here Pages and fools. The fool, the universe, brought out a major arcana. It said, no, for most of the people watching, Steve, this is going to happen. They're going to take a leap of faith. They can't take it anymore. They're showing up as a page, just like I told you over here. They're thinking about every word they're going to say. They got their pants half down already, though. Look, she got her pants half down. They're already ready to go. I mean, you ain't got a, you ain't got a tug much to get those down the rest of the way. You're all set, male or female, don't matter. It's a female on the card. I think it's a female. I have no idea what the fuck it is, to be honest with you. But the boobies are blocked, right? I got no I got no clue. I don't know. But all I can say is they're showing up with communication. They're worried about what they're going to say. They're thinking about every damn word and how they're going to say it because they're worried how you're going to respond. I already told you that. They're worried as fuck about it. 
It's in the energy, I said, and here it is, represented by a card. Cards back up my energy reading. My aim with this channel is to show you how things are done around here and also to show you that energy reading is real and a lot of you have the skill and I plan to help you with it at some point here with some mailbag videos, but I got to figure out a good way to do it before I do that. But I'm going to tell you straight up. This is, I'm reading this energy and this person can't take it anymore. You take my word for it. The Hell, the raccoons watching, believe me. They're all shaking their heads, yes. And fucking with my trash cans at night, too. Motherfuckers. Stay away from my trash cans. There, there you go. Alright, let's clarify. Let's see where we go here. Yeah, they're trying to keep it. Trying to beat the heat. But they're not. They're not beating anything. Except them. <laughs> well, they're beating something. But <laughs> it ain't the heat. All right, what's the Ten of Wands here? Tell me about this. Let's clarify. Let's go a layer deeper in the energy here. This is some shit. This is, this is, I knew this was going to be a reading. Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups off the Ten of Wands is this person is, is trying, to, trying to end these burdens, trying to walk away from these burdens. They're trying to beat the heat. Trying to beat the heat. They're also, one of the burdens is they're afraid that you're going to walk away. This person wants to reach out and talk to you. Reach out, reach out, reach out. Three cards in a row. Three cards in a fucking row. Page of Cups, Fool, Page of Pentacles. It's all communication. It's what they want to do. On one side of this card, they're afraid that, that it might be too late because they're afraid how you're going to respond. They're thinking about every word they're going to say. On the other side, they just want to walk away from this burden. The Eight of Cups on top of the Ten of Wands is, I can't take it anymore. It literally says it in a sentence. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Mm, the Strength card. Fear surrounds the Strength card. Because if you have to get your strength up to do something, it implies you're afraid to do it. It's everything I just told you. They're afraid of how you're going to respond. Oh my God, what's the collective going to say? What are they going to say? I've been gone a while. I'm pretending that I don't like them. And then oh, I can't stop thinking about them. So I got to do something. They've been working a long time. This came up a lot in August. It's very clear in the energy. It's been building slowly and slowly and slowly within the energy itself. That this person's been working up the nerve a long time to reach out. This, this has been going on a spell. The Ten of Wands is the burden of thinking about this and thinking about this and thinking. It, it's a ten. This has been going on forever. You have to get through. I mean, it's, you know. Why is the uh, High Priestess here? Why is the High Priestess here? The High Priestess is here, I can tell you, because their intuition is kicking their ass. The universe, we saw the Wheel of Fortune before the cut. Is destined connection. The universe is kicking their ass and telling them, screaming at them, reach out. Oh, but I'm afraid. Reach out. Oh, but I'm afraid. Reach out, motherfucker. The universe is actually using the word or phrase motherfucker on your person. It really is. Reach the fuck out is the message that their intuition is telling them. All right. Why is the high priestess here? <laughs> I fucking felt this. I know this card. I swear I know the energy off of it. It's just because as soon as I hadn't even pulled the card and the word tits ran through my head. Just tits. That's it. Tits. And I knew I, you heard me chuckle when I pulled it. It's tits. It's the best tits in the damn tarot right here. Because you, why? Why is their intuition screaming at them? Because they fucking love you. You got a magnetic pull toward you. You're the best tits in the tarot. Look at those. My God. Right here. Male or female, if you're a guy, your tits are good too. It don't matter. They got a, There's a magnetic pull towards you. You, and I've been saying this in the August readings, and I've been saying it all week, you are the irresistible force, and they are the immovable object. But the immovable object is getting dragged, dragged, because the river is starting to rage. This empress is coming up a lot, and in this position, it, it went off of the high priestess, it is, this is why their intuition is kicking them in the ass, going, motherfucker, reach out, you shithead. Reach out, you shithead. And they can't resist, because then, and then they think about you, and they think about reaching out, and they think about, oh my God, what are they going to say? i got to think about every word I'm going to say. Oh my God, I'm just, the universe is like they're just going to snap and take a leap of faith. That's why I put the fool here. Irresistible magnetic pull towards you. 
If you don't think this person likes you, if you're like, nah, this guy's fucked up. This person don't like me. Who's this Steve guy? I'll tell you who this Steve guy is. <laughs> He's a guy who knows what's going on in these connections. And I'll tell you another thing. If you knew me, you wouldn't say that. Uh, I'll tell you what. People in my life listen to every goddamn word I tell them. <laughs> they usually ignore it sometimes. Sometimes they'll ignore it and come back around and want me to, and want, want me to give them advice again to fix something that they fucked up because they didn't listen to me in the first place, which is aggravating. But I'm telling you, straight up, it's in the energy. This person got feelings for you that you don't know about. I got secrets, secrets. I got secrets all over the fucking place here. I, this whole reading's clarifying the moon. They're keeping this quiet. But this girl's running out of air. She's running out of air because we're sitting on the Ten of Wands here with the Eight of Cups. And they've been working on getting the strength to come in. Their intuition is kicking them in the ass. Why is the Empress here? Why is old best tits in the tarot here? Oh, shit, yeah. Justice. Because justice is here. You're about to get some justice. Karma's trying to balance here. Karma. This connection is powerful. This connection is a destined connection. It's twin flame. It's deep soul. Justice is a balancing of karma. Also, this person here, every time they reject their intuition, which is calling them a motherfucker and this and that, you need to go reach out. Every time they reject it, they get hit with some karma on their side. Something goes wrong. A business fails. They don't have a good money day. They don't have a good money week. They screw up the lines in their play. They screw up a whole production. They, they Whatever. They fender bang. They fender bang. They get a fender banger, right? Bang into somebody at a light or something. They can't get you out of their head. Karma's trying to balance here. This card being here is proof of everything I've told you about the high priestess, where they, their, their intuition, the universe itself, is screaming at them to come towards you. Screaming. Why is and, and, you, and they may be in a third party. This card can represent divorce and you're the better choice, but the universe don't want to talk about a third party here. It wants to talk about you and this person. And I think that's, that's refreshing for a change. All right? I'm sick of hearing about this entitled fuckwit on some of your person's side. I pulled on it yesterday for a Leo reading. I hate that fucking person. Right here, Page of Cups. I hate entitled people. I hate entitled fuckwits. I hate Burger Kings, controlling assholes. I hate all them people. I'm at war with them here on my channel. Right here, the Page of Cups. Nothing worse being in a relationship with a narcissist. But right now, the universe wants to talk about you and this person. And, and the, they're, they are drawn to you. Uh, Page of Cups. How they feel about you is, well, they want to reach out, but they're, they fear they're going to tell you too much. They're trying to hold back, but they can't take it anymore. Why is the Page of Cups here? Well, I'm all, oh, yeah, they're conflicted. They're conflicted. The Five of Wands, conflicted. They're conflicted. This is a conflicted person. And they have been for some time. If you're sitting by your phone waiting for this person, get the fuck outside, get your fancy bikini or speedo on, and go show your ass off at the beach. Because this person is still sitting around in Five of Wands. For now. For now. We ain't at Lionsgate yet. That final blast hasn't brought the tower down. But the Five of Wands, yeah, they, should I, should I, oh gosh, I, did this person, they, they can't fight this. They're not going to win. Five of Wands is a 100-pound weakling. And that's a 100 pounds soaking wet, by the way. 100 pounds soaking wet weakling against the High Priestess, the Empress, the Wheel of Fortune we saw earlier. The Ten of Wands is even stronger than the Five of Wands. The energy around that Ten of Wands is right now is almost Major Arcana. It's so fucking powerful. And this page, yeah, they want to come towards you. How do I know? Because the next card out is the Knight of Cups. They owe you an apology. They owe you some grocery store flowers, right? This fool went over to the grocery store and got the flowers. The cheap bunch, but still. Yeah, they want to reach, all they want to do, how they feel about you is love, love, love. They're, re they're representing as a page, feeling a knight, feeling like they, they need to be a knight to come in right, and they're not sure. They're basically conflicted, should I come in at all, or should I come in as a page, or should I come in as a knight? And I doubt they're phrasing it to themselves that way. That's just how I'm phrasing it to you. 
If they are phrasing it to themselves that way, if they're, if your person is sitting around saying, should I come in as a page or should I be a knight or a king, you might want to question whether or not you want this person because that's fucking crazy. All right? That's, that's fucking crazy. All right, here we go. The fool. But it's not crazy here because we're pulling cards. The fool. What else the universe want to tell us? Now, the universe is emphatic. The energy here is very clear that they can't take it anymore. They're afraid you're going to walk away and they need to get away from this Ten of Wands. And they have been working on getting the nerve to come in and talk to you for quite some time. While they're still conflicted, you're, they're magnetically drawn to you. And the universe is emphatic here that they're coming with the Fool, Major Arcana, the Zero card, and the Tarot. This is a, you know, they probably want to start, zero, start from zero. They probably want to start over. Okay, they probably want a new beginning here. Or something along those lines. I'm shuffling the deck. Don't worry. I'm not just yammering. All right. What do we got? <laughs> I love tarot. Uh, two of cups. Two of cups. Uh, two soulmates coming together. The universe is just giving us this message. The universe wants to, what the universe wants to tell you in this section is they're just going to take a leap of faith. They're feeling this connection. These two soulmates are destined to come together. Temperance is the next card out. Temperance is a card of communication in this position. It's a card of karma balancing. Again, karma is going to balance here. It's the card of the angel. It's angel energy. It's the opposite of devil energy. Devil energy would be keeping them away from you. If the devil fell here, the opposite card of temperance, we'd have a problem. But the devil did not fall here. The angel fell here. My lazy mechanic. And, and he, he holds true here. This is There he is, right there. Got my car up on the lift. I'm pacing around the neighborhood, waiting for it to be done. And what's he doing? He's outside smoking a Marlboro. That's what he's doing, motherfucker. That's what he's doing. And that's kind of what your person's doing. Right here, temperance is red with the strength card. They're trying to build up the strength to come in and do this, the courage to come in and bring these two souls together. And at the moment, they're sitting outside. You're up on a lift in this analogy. You got parts off. You got your pants down. You're up on a lift. And you're, this person's outside smoking a cigarette, trying to get the strength up to come finish the job. But it looks like they're gonna. The universe is very clear. Temperance is a card of communication in my reading when it falls here. In certain positions it is, and right there it sure as fuck is. And it leads into how they're coming in. A card of communication. Worried about every word they're gonna say. Planning every word they're gonna say. Typing a few tests. They might come in and just test the waters. Maybe just see how you react. They're definitely showing up as a page. I got that twice, and I got a fool, you know. This Knight of Cups is wishful thinking. The universe just brought it out because it didn't have another page to give me. Because the Page of Swords is more about spying and things like that. Oh, fucking hell. Could have given me the Page of Wands, but Page of Wands is a little braver. She's my party girl, you know? A little braver. Nope, that was the perfect card. All right, Knight of Pentacles. Why is it here? Or a Page of Pentacles. I wish it wasn't. Well, I don't wish it was a Knight of Pentacles. I, the Knight of Pentacles is slow moving. But Page of Pentacles. Why is it here? Okay. Uh. <laughs> They're trying to fight the Empress. And I'm going to give you all one guess who's trying to fight the Empress. Who's at the top of my deck here? Oh, it is, of course, the washed up TV star herself, Sarah Gilbert. Right here, someone watching Roseanne reruns while they drew this card. They're trying. They're not sure how to come in. It's a card, I told you. The Page of Pentacles, they're thinking about every word they're going to say. They're not sure how you're going to react. They've got a lot of fear. Strength card. That's why they're trying to get up the nerve. And this card, Sarah Gilbert, here is red with the Empress. This magnetic pole is pulling them in, which is confusing them even more. Oh my God, oh my God. And now they're feeling rushed. Now we got a rushed energy, which explains the fool over here because the fool just goes for it. Why well, Sarah here? Boom. What have I been talking about this whole reading? I've been talking about as we get the lion's gate and the bomb and the final blast goes off and brings the tower down. You heard me say it earlier. Rewind if you didn't hear it if you were busy fussing with that dog you got on the floor. Right here, the tower. 
This squirrel done had his nuts blown right off. There they are. Nuts on fire. Yeah. Lionsgate's gonna blow the nuts off your person or ovaries. Not if you're, you know, again, there's no genders here, but I'll go ahead and be gender specific if you want. But I think it's better just to say they're gonna blow the nuts right off your person. They're gonna have flaming nads on the ground. Um, they can't take it anymore. That's it. They gotta come in. They gotta communicate. Bottom of the deck is the five of swords. They can't take. Look, does that person look to you like they can take it anymore? Don't look to me like he can take it anymore. I can't take it anymore. I, 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 I can't. Even that crow is like, dude, you need to do something. Dude. Dude. I'm fucking real. The ending here in a tower just tells me they're coming out of nowhere. Coming in. Coming in. Communication. It's on top of a communication card. It's going to come from nowhere. Sarah Gilbert's just going to give up swatting these crows. They can't take the magnetism anymore. It's too much of a pull. Intuition's kicking them in the ass and calling them all sorts of names. They get, they've been working on getting the strength up to come in and talk to you, working up the nerve. Five of Wands, they're not sure quite how to do it. They're, oh, well, I mean, what if they say this? And what, and what if they say that? And we do have a conflict we, we might need to work out because I'm going to have to explain where the fuck I've been. You know, I've been in the trunk of a Cadillac and then I got thrown in the water and then they're going to come in with some story like that. They're not going to be all, you know, they're coming in as a page. Page always, kids always lie, don't they? They always exaggerate what happened. My God, when I hear about my little 10-year-old nephew's day, you'd think, you'd think he was Indiana Jones. All he did was walk home from school. <laughs> you think he was Indiana Jones. No, I got, I was in the back of a Cadillac. These two guys threw me in, and then they chucked me in the water, and then I was underwater, and I couldn't hold my breath anymore, and then I had to come. I mean, this person is literally, I'm giving you almost a literal analogy here of what they're doing. But they're definitely, for most of you, I mean, they can still have free will. I can't say for all of you, but for most of you, this person's coming in, and it's going to come out of nowhere. And I'm not one of those fucking people that puts the title, shocking, you're going to be surprised. Uh, of, of the video, you know, shocking. It's going to surprise you. Shocking. Oh, if every time I see that word, I don't watch the channel. Because if you've got to be that cheesy with your goddamn titles, you're probably a shit reader. Let me tell you what. I, I, it's just my opinion. I'm just going to say it straight up. That's cheesy. That's marketing. I'll tell you what. It's going to be shocking. I'll tell you here in the reading. It's going to be shocking. It's going to come from nowhere. That's the only way to phrase it, I suppose. I mean, it is what it is, but, you know. Uh, I ain't got no fluff here. I ain't got no buzzwords or clickbait. Just readings. If you want them, come get them. You know, I, don't, I didn't hire a marketing person to come in and write my titles for me. But it is. It's going to come out of nowhere. What do we got here from the universe? What's the universe want to say? Shocking. <laughs> Cracks me up. Tell you what. Don't fall for clickbait, people. Don't fall for that shit. That's marketing. They sell you all kinds of shit on TV. Don't fall for what you see on TV either. Don't fall for any of that shit. Why is why is Tide new and improved? Right? Well, you, you were trying to sell me the old stuff for 20 years, 30 years, 40 years. So was that shit? Was that t so the old Tide was shit. I fell for that and bought your laundry detergent. Now you make new and improved Tide. Why couldn't I have had the new and improved Tide before? Why was the old stuff shit? You know? It's like, you know, it's, it's marketing. Marketing, marketing, marketing. I worked in marketing for a little while as, a, as an assistant. I've shit at it, but I learned a lot about the psychology of it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Chalking. All right, what's the universe want you to know? Hey, take your life lessons as you get them. I've had some experience. <laughs> anyway, king of wands, bottom of the deck, passion. Spank bank upright. They can't take it anymore. They are very passionate about you. They're holding on to a lot more love than what they're going to show you, the ace of cups. King of, uh, the king of wands puts up a pretense. Kind of a selfishy person. You know, they put up some pretense. They do. Uh, a little bit of, you know, it's a little bit of flash. It's, it, it's a show. It's three-card Monty. It's, you know, kind of a thing like that. 
what they're showing you is only is what they're going to show you when they come in is only a, a portion of what they feel for you and here she is i just talked about her earlier it's my party girl it's the page of wands communication final card out from the universe bottom of the deck is the uh, the uh, card underneath it i should say is the nine of cups coming to get their wish fulfilled coming to get some six of wands victory there's my five cards from the bottom right there boom boom um you know they're only gonna they feel a big ace, ace of cups sealed with cellophane but it's starting to leak got some anal leakage out of the ace of cups here it's starting to leak they feel it and right here Mm. They're not gonna, you know, they're gonna put up a pretense a little bit, make you see hey, everything. This is like Fonzie, right? Everything's cool. Hey, ah, uh, you're all right. They're gonna tell you you're all right, and what they mean is, God, I love you so much, I can't stop thinking about you. Holy fucking crap, that's what they mean. They're coming in again, the universe wants to reiterate, showing up as a page. This is communication. It's passionate communication, but it's passionate communication to a point to the level of a page. It's not Barry White, lovey, 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 dovey. Hello, baby. How are you? It's not that. It's, it's not that. But they are coming in. I suspect they probably just test the waters first and make sure. And they'll slowly open up over time. But this, this reading is very clear. So if it's not clear to you, rewind the damn thing and watch it because it's damn fucking clear to me. All right? They can't hold their breath too much longer and trying to beat the heat ain't working it ain't working so here we go that's your reading i'm gonna do an extended on this of course i am i'm gonna pull some voodoo i want to find out you know what i'm just gonna tell you straight up the extended because of how this reading played out the extended is a completely separate reading and it's just i'm going to ask the universe one question one word in fact why why? Why are they just why? All of it. Why are they worried? Why are they not listening to their intuition? Why why are they conflicted? Why why are we sitting around waiting for this person? Just why? And it's gonna be epic. I love it. it. The universe why is a philosophical question. In philosophy they tell you that one of the first rules of philosophy is never stop asking why in life. Why is a very <clears throat> excuse me, why is a very powerful word to the universe. Okay, when you have a deck of cards, which you're pulling from the energy, the dark energy in the universe, you ask why. You get some pretty powerful answers. And I want to know, because I'm feeling what's here, I want to know why. How is this person, how in the fuck, with all this love that's here, is this person, this bullshit washed up TV star, resisting the best hits in the tarot? Especially when I, I think that washed up TV stars into chicks. And these are two chicks. They're just, you should have, look, look at that. You want that. If you're into, I'm into chicks and I want that. We're both into chicks, Sarah. And I, you want that. That's probably better than what you got. I don't know. It's the Empress. So let's, let's ask the universe why. And see what we get. Maybe the spirit of Plato himself. We'll come down and give us some answers. Who knows? Let's find out. Link for the extended in the description. If you want it, it's there. Uh, and uh, if you, I hope this reading was helpful. If you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate all the subscribers and everyone who shares. And these, these readings are going to get more and more powerful as we go, folks. It's, gonna be, it's a powerful month. It's a powerful couple of weeks here. All right, good luck.